Hi everybody, meteorologist Brian Bennett. Right around 1.20 p.m. this afternoon, a meteorite moved in to Earth's atmosphere high above the skies of very southern Florida. It then continued off to the southwest. By the time it got over the Florida Keys, it was creating a bit of a smoke trail because it was getting lower in the atmosphere. That's why folks in very southern Florida and the Florida Keys were able to see the smoke trail. It continued off to the southwest and actually made impact in very western part of Cuba in a rural area west of the Havana area. No injuries reported, just a few broken windows. And those broken windows might actually be the result of the sonic boom due to the meteorite and not actually the meteorite itself. All right, let's take a look at the satellite imagery from this time period. And you can see a big flash that occurs here in Western Cuba. That's actually the GOES-16 Lightning Detection Network. It picked up on the flash from the meteorite entering the Earth's atmosphere and again, make an impact in Western Cuba. And that set off the satellite to record that again around 1.20 this afternoon. Here's a picture taken shortly after the meteorite moved through western Cuba and you can see what looks like, uh, almost looks like a contrail in a way, but it's not. It's actually a smoke trail from the meteorite. Here's a look at the American Meteor Society's webpage and you can see where folks have reported seeing this meteor. Again, it entered the skies likely over very high above the Everglades and then continue to lower in elevation. So by the time we got to the Keys, folks were able to see the smoke trail created by this meteor, likely or meteorite, uh, likely moving around 40,000 meteor, 40,000 miles per hour or so. And then it continued off to the Southwest and actually made landfall right around the small town of Vinales, Cuba, which is in very Western Cuba, west of the Havana area. Again, no injuries reported, thankfully with this, uh, but nonetheless, an interesting day for folks that were able to witness uh, the space rock moving into Earth. Take a look at this video. It doesn't actually show the meteor itself, but it shows you folks recording right after the video and also the sonic boom that occurred. I'm gonna play about 10 to 15 seconds of this video that was recorded by Juan Alberto Perez Pozo earlier this afternoon. Oye, pero lo vi yo, porque la luz me volvió loco. Dije, ¿y esta luz quién está soldando? No, pero de todas maneras tú no estás bien. Escucha. Entra, Santi. 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 Here's a look at the Key West satellite, or not satellite, the radar actually picking up on a bit of a reflection here in Western Cuba, right around 26,000 feet. So this is a meteorite actually moving into Western Cuba, and it was picked up by one of the radars uh, in the Key West area. Here's a fragment of that meteorite. Again, this is not the entire meteorite. These little fragments were actually scattered all over this town in Western Cuba. This meteorite probably made of iron and a bit of a stony material. Uh, it's kind of charred because it obviously was entering Earth's atmosphere and the temperature rose up to several thousand degrees as it was basically uh, shattering and fragmenting in the atmosphere. Obviously, just kind of a size perspective here next to the phone. The phone's obviously not falling from the sky. If they were, then uh, I wouldn't be paying quite as much of a monthly fee. Nonetheless, an interesting sight in Western Cuba today. And again, the smoke trail visible from the Keys and Southern Florida. But again, fortunately, no injuries, uh, just a meteorite entering the atmosphere and again, making landfall in Western Cuba.